Chapter 2, question 22C asks, what is the percentile rank associated with a score of 46? So we need to find what interval does 46 fall in, and then we're going to figure out what percentile rank that is associated with. So a score of 46 falls in this interval. And so question C and coming up D are the opposite direction of B and A. So B, question B and A, we start with the percentile and we try and find X. With C and D, we have X and we're trying to find the percentile rank. So step one, we find the width. So we take, for, for X, the width, for X, we take the uh, upper real limit, 49.5, minus the lower real limit, 39.5, and we get 10. I keep doing this um, just to also reinforce, look, the width of the intervals on X, because the frequency distribution was created properly, the width is always the same. So we keep getting 10. The width on the cumulative percentage, we take 100 minus 80, and we get 20. Step two, we need to find where in this interval, uh, proportionally, does the score of 46 fall. So the top is 49.5. The bottom is 39.5, and our score is 46. So this whole piece is 10 units. We want to find what proportion is this. So we take 49.5, subtract 46, and we divide it by the width, which is 10. So we get 49. 0.5 subtract 46, that's 3.5 divided by 10, and that gives us 0 0.35. Step three, we want to find proportionally 0.35 of 20, because 20 is our interval width. So we have 100. The bottom is 80, so this is overall 20. We want to find out what is this value here? How far down from 100 do we need to go if we go down 35% of that, or 0.35 proportionally? So we take 0.35 and we multiply it by 20, which is our interval width, and that gives us 7. And so what we now do is we need to take 100 minus 7 for step 4, and that equals 93. So 46, x equals 46 corresponds to the 93rd percentile.